Hello, questers, and welcome to episode 34 of Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. And we finally arrived at Swanstone Castle. I can't say finally, because I wasn't really expecting to come here. Well, I was, they just forgot his name. Here's I could start right off the bat by checking out what armor and weapons they got. Uh, you can't see these on the bottom screen, but I am judging their strength. See, these are good for Nevin and Millie, but they just... They only add like four defense. Once again, not that great gear. Weapons. Battle axe is actually... Nope, it's worse. Staff of Anti-Magic is better for Nevin by two points. And Saw Blade is better for cover by one. Without the added fire effect. Guess I'm good. Bank, there's a church. No. Apparently not if I didn't hear about it. Intriguing though. Okay, let's talk to the king. But first, raid the royal wardrobe. The girl in the mirror. Well, what else would she be? Would be the question, wouldn't it? See of magic. Hey, we have that. There might be. I want some. Snitchel's good. I don't know if you guys have had it, but it's pretty good. There's this German restaurant that's local. Well, sort of local. It's. Yes, visit from the king. Oh, thank you. Ooh, let's go upstairs first. But there's a string restaurant nearby, and it's got some mad good food. Matter of fact, one time, they had these guys playing on stage, and they even invited me up. They gave me this wig and called me Helga. It's pretty funny. This prince doesn't know as good he's got it. Well, I guess we gotta find out who this lady is up in the mirror. Anything out here? No, that rarely ever is. Wait. Huh. Indeed. Well, her loss. There we go. Yes, we do. Everyone else, don't listen to her. That must be the mirror chamber. Summer look cool. I want it. Taking that armor. 
What? What cat falls asleep standing up? Jeez, those are worthless. All right, to the mirror princess. Surprise! It's your birthday. Just a man demanding us to go everywhere. Just let me use raw of mirror on the mirror. They need to install an elevator. Yeah, like two seconds ago. Yes, it is. Oh. Well, you are a selfish punk. Yes. We have it. Yeah, that's what I said. Da -na -na -na. Back and forth, back and forth. This place really could benefit from an elevator. Too bad it's ancient times. They could work something out though. I've seen elevators in games like Dark Souls. That is an intense mirror. What a jerk! Dang it. <laughs> Make up your mind, Prince. Has it? Spiegel? Apparently. Oh. Well, let's kill him. Yeah. You can count on us. Try casting peep. We have peep, right? Yeah, I've got peep. I've got peep. Oh, yes, I've got some peep. I've got peep. Now, if you guys watched the last episode, which I hope you did, I was on a bed forever. Hmm. 
hey, here's the bed. And among all of the many things... Actually, wait one second. I have 30 mini medals. There's something we're going to do first. So we're going to zoom. Okay, it is here. Get on the bed. Before we actually progress, I'm going to take a short detour. and get some free items. Now you can go to this place sooner than I went to it, but I've dilly-dallyed. There we go. Now I don't remember exactly when this place is restored, but this is where you turn in all the mini metals, and it's got a giant, well, okay. A bunch of slime everywhere. Yeah, there's a slime. Yeah. That's right, when, when you beat jammers, you can access here. All those giant holes on the map that uh, I was near, but I didn't go exactly over. Every time you beat one of the main bosses in the game, it restores a section. So it's pretty cool. Now, for the free stuff. Medford Medallion. Sounds like a pretty logical king. Yes. Cool. I wonder if it's good. That'll be good. Raging Ruby increases attack. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Miracle Sword. Sweet. So check out my new trinkets. Staff of Divine Wrath. Uh, no, it's, it's useless. How unfortunate. Raging Ruby, on the other hand. Let's see, he's got the gold ring, he's got... Nothing. So... Give it to Roto. Roto deserves some, something to beef him up. And then on his end, I move the gold ring over to. Well, oh. I'll oh, forget it. Transfer. Bag. Whatever. And my next order of business is Panam Sword. Weaker than that, but stronger. It's the same strength as our lunar fan. To Carver it goes. Okay. Looks like we're like Flynn. Now I can head to my real destination. Like I said, the place we are progressing to is somewhere that I visited in the Bedfest 2013 last episode. Here in the desert. Next to a lake. Oh my gosh, it's the tower. Weep. And now I know to use Peep.
Oh, great. Look at the top screen. This place is gonna be a mess. Let's see if I can scout out where to go. I can literally, I literally have access to all four rooms. Well, in doubt. Okay. It looks like. Wait. Ah. Uh oh. You don't know how these go about. Hmm. Well, let's test if they reflect magic. Oh no, it's Millie! Millie's dead! Break out Millie! Era. Good old almost. To reward you almost, you get to heal Nevin. Dream era. This is like the only time they ever actually like alter the look of the Chimeras. Well, they weren't that strong. Now, I saw these chests and this stairs. That guy's cool. Demon Rider. Good job, Gawain. I need to get it so that they have better heal moves. Alright, get these chests. See, now that's money. Huh. Well, look at all these guys. It's go time. <laughs> nice. That's how we do it. Alright, well before I get any higher, I guess I should end this episode. So, I will catch you all on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.